How is the transition to the circular economy impacting business model today? Share three ways for companies to embrace circularity from an enterprise level. So before answering to the how, let's answer to the why. So why company needs to move to uh, circularity? First reason is to comply with regulations, mainly to reduce fines and disposal costs. Second reason is to reduce material cost, driven by material cost increase, good scarcity, and uh, to reduce product cost. Third reason is to improve uh, brand image. Since final customers are more and more attentive to environmental matter, matter it's key to uh, increase revenue and market share to uh, move to circularity. Now let's move to the how. To embrace circularity, company needs to adopt an end-to-end -end approach. The scope of uh, product assessment shall, not, shall be extended from just manufacturing purpose to uh, a cradle-to-cradle -cradle point of view. Hence, it has become essential to design products to maximize the recyclability and material recovery rate at the end of product life cycle. Modularization and modernization techniques helps in reducing uh, end-of-life waste, so cost, uh, while keeping overall equipment efficiency as high as possible all along product life cycle. System of systems uh, helps in understanding the iteration within different uh, systems um, and uh, understanding also the trade-offs in terms of sustainability and operational matters. Drive, uh, everything is driven by regulators uh, that push OEMs to embrace circularity. Directives like RO, ROHS, we waste from uh, electrical and electronical equipment, digital passport are pushing OEMs to reduce hazardous, hazardous material usage and to track them all along product life cycle. Regulatory compliance is key to avoid fine and maintain product compliance along the decades. To finish, in the last years, uh, we are also assisting in a switch of operation business model. Corporates are transitioning to a product uh, as a service business model, mainly to reduce capex. This change has major impact uh, on uh, the product development since uh, uh, OEMs are the owner of the asset during the whole phase of ownership. Hence, they are pushed to reduce uh, service costs by working on spare part costs, maintenance costs, downtime and effic asset efficiency. You can see that the trend up to now for OEMs was to sell the machine at a lower price as possible while selling the, the services during operation uh, at a high price. Now they have to do uh, in a completely different way. And this, as you can see, it's a very complicated and uh, different approach.